Hey guys, we're back with another game of Popper. We are playing some Trinket Hawk. Uh, we've got a decent hand here, lots of removal, some draw, but no artifact to go with it. Uh, and an Aven Rift Watcher, I think I'll keep this. And we're going to lead off with an island and pass. And we see a Dismal Backwater. Whoops, forgot to Ash Barons. Oh well, let's pass. Okay, we're gonna basic land cycle. Let's get another island. And let's cast our Evan Rift Watcher. Drawing all of the journeys. Passes. The Gideon's Reproach. I might just play the Artificial's Epiphany without the uh, artifact. Forbidden Alchemy. Okay. Opponent has to make a choice. All right. Wow. Lots of value in here. Deep analysis and an angler. All right. I'm just going to run this. Devour Flesh, okay, all gain four, or it's Toughness, right? Yeah, gain five, sure, all right, and let's discard a Gideon's Reproach. All right, and we are going to leave up Counterspell. Opponent's kind of stuck on lands here. Disfigure. Uh, hmm. Guess I'll let that go. Did I not search up all my Squadron Hawks? There we go. Sometimes it takes a while for the click to kind of activate for some reason. There we go. I guess I'm a little I'm running a little slow here. And we'll pass. This guy's probably running uh, some sort of mass removal. So we'll have to be careful for that. Okay, equals for think twice. Dismal, number three, found his fourth land, that's good. Okay, I'm going to hold back my last hawk here. I'm going to go in for two. All right, so let's pass. Forbidden Alchemy number two. Uh, 
another pass. Let's basic land cycle. Waiting on the opponent. There we go, here's an island. Ooh, okay. So, we likely will have to fight for this, but it's worth it. Hopefully we get it. Soul manipulation. Let's counter back. Looks like we get it. And I think we should go with the Salvic Life Staff. Or maybe the Bone Splitter to really put pressure on them. We've got enough mana to play either one and equip. I think I'm going to go with the Bone Splitter. Maybe it's going to be a removal spell here. Agony warps. Okay. So we're done. Gonna get in for negative two. Deep analysis. Flashback. Gets a swamp and passes. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's brainstorm. Get a nice counter spell. We will put away two journeys. And here we could Terramorphic. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in for combat. Try and get in for five. Another Agony Warp. Okay. So this we can counter. Maybe he's got another trick. Nope. Down to 11. So, in that case, we will Terramorphic Squadron Hawk. We will search. Say OK. And pass. We get to think twice. There's a scavenger. Okay. We'll get another island. Uh, we've got a lot of mana here. Let's use our journey. Okay, trying to look for an answer. Did he find one? Hmm. 
get in for six. There's another think twice, okay. Down to five. We've got a mole drifter. Cool. Augur bolus. Sure. Counter spells revealed. He really needs a mass removal spell to win. Even that's really not really going to do it here. Plays a land. All my flyers are just too good. And he concedes. Okay, let's go to game two. Uh, these relics are going to be really good. So are the curses. Um, a couple of dispels wouldn't hurt. What do we take out? Uh, Gideon's Reproach is probably one of the weaker removal spells. I want to keep the Journeys because we need ways to answer the Gurmog Angler. Um, let's see. Sense Enlistment's amazing. Even Rift Watchers, maybe not the best. Hmm. What else? Prohibit doesn't hit everything, but it's still a very good card. Epiphany's fine. Boy, I really don't know what to cut here. I guess we can cut one Epiphany. Maybe one Journey? No. I guess one Prohibit. Not going to hit everything. and Be a little bit narrow. But is it better than Dispel? Hmm. No, I think I'll run it like that. That seems fine. Got a surprising amount of hate for him. The opponent's likely going first. Got a three land hand, some removal. Squadron Hawk, Bone Splitter, Prohibit. Seems like a really solid hand, honestly. These are the kinds of hands that we like to see. Uh, so let's lead with Seat of the Synod and pass. Because we're going to Ash Barons. For another island. Got a cycling effect? Nope, not even. Okay. Huh. Well, let's go straight into our squadron hawk, searching up another squadron hawk. And we're going to pass like that. Okay. Let's play our island. Let's play a flare husk. And I'm guessing this is going to get countered. Nope, not even. So we're going to get our last two hawks. And pass. Going in for one. Then 
going to see Forbidden Alchemy. This is a great way to put on a lot of pressure here. Really enjoying this. See an auger. It's going to make our germ token a little bit less intimidating here. Revealing essence scatter. Okay. Hmm. We're going to lead with bone splitter. Which we're going to counter. Okay, here we go. And we are really well on our way to winning here. Although the Radiant Fountain doesn't help. No attacks, passes. We've got our planes. Let's cast a Squadron Hawk. And then get in for combat. For another four, hopefully. Agony Warp. Ah, okay. You take no damage. I have played my land this turn. So I'm going to leave up Artificial's Epiphany on his end step. Going to repeal. Okay. Another auger. <laughs> okay, so the same card again. Gonna get in for one. Sure, that's fine. I'm going to draw two. All right. Here's a relic. I'm just going to cast this. Um, let's play our relic. And I think I will play the Trinket Mage as well. So that's a no. Okay. In that case, I feel pretty good playing the Bone Splitter. Equipping onto a flare, I mean a squadron hawk. Getting in for four. Oop, not with the germ. 
Ugh, just figure. Okay. Gets in for one. Gets in for two. Probably has another spell to play here. Shrivel. No. That's pretty good. Let's brainstorm. Reveal a mull drifter. Uh, let's put back a couple lands, I guess. Try out the squadron hawk. Which meets the remove soul. Okay then, let's pass. He's got us pretty much under control, though he's down to two cards, so he's got to be careful. We'll take two. Make him exile a card. And I think I will just crack this. Drawing my land. Gets his Forbidden Alchemy. Let's see what I get. I know I got two lands on top. Okay. Well, this prevents future anglers from popping up. We're going to just run with our Mull Drifters. Ooh, Sends Enlistment's perfect here. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to go and equip my Mull Drifter. Prevent him from attacking, probably, hopefully. Not even. Okay. Well, seeing this, this is probably a disfigure. I'm not going to worry about it. It's a Forbidden Alchemy again. We can get in for five next turn with a Mull Drifter, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Oh, probably shouldn't have played that. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's try and equip. Get in for five. All right. Let's see if that works. What does he get back? Okay, he doesn't have a creature. All right. So then let's send enlistment. And pass. Goes for another Forbidden Alchemy. Hmm. Shows me an Angler. Not gonna block. 
All right, that's what I was hoping to get. Because now it's got a counter. I've got a counter back. Hopefully he doesn't have dispel. He doesn't. He's gonna take a beating. Get in for seven. Disfigures one of these guys, okay. Flare Husk, doing the work. All right, I'm gonna brainstorm now. Couple lands, that's pretty good. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do, put it like that, play my island, and pass. Down to one card in hand. Looks like it's another angler. Nope, okay. Forbidden alchemy. Flashback. Yeah, he had a swamp that he played. Okay. Yeah, looking pretty grim for him. It's going to draw us a land, which we can use Sense Enlistment, or we can just play the Trinket Mage. Yep. And we're going to get, um, hmm, <laughs> all, all three of these look pretty good. Um, I guess we can get the Relic. Let's go into combat with this guy. I'm not going to play my um, Terramorphic. So he's going to need to draw some cards. Most likely. Goes for the Forbidden Alchemy. He needs an Agony Warp to not die, basically, at this point. Oh, and he says GG. Wow, what a great game, guys. Well, that felt like a really good match. We, uh, we were on the aggro end of things, and we really managed to push our advantage here the whole game.